Okay, folks. I go our next car. This is the filter number. This car is a year 2014 Cadillac SRX. So it's a 2014 Cadillac SRX. I'm going to try to leave the link in the description of the video so it can help people out. So 2014 Cadillac SRX. Yes, yeah, the filter number. And that's what we're going to work on next. It's a nice car. Nice little SUV. Oil type is 5W30. Engine size is a 3.6 liter. Once again, if you watch my previous videos, all my videos have the exact same tools. You don't really need a lot to do oil change on most cars. Some cars got the clutches filter, but when we reach there, I'll post a video up, which I have. Nevertheless, as you can see in almost all my videos, I have this exact same claw. So this is what we're going to need. An oil claw, a ratchet, and probably a 15 millimeter box. Let's see if it's 15 or what. Yes, it's a 15. So this is under the car right here. We are under the car leg. Yeah, it's the oil filter right up there. You can try to take it out by hand. You may get lucky it come off. Nevertheless, that blue cup over there is your oil filter on this Cadillac. So we're gonna drain the oil right here. This boat, we're gonna loosen it and let the old oil out. And we're gonna take that apart and let the oil out and put the new one in. Since I got no one holding my camera, just give me one second. I'm not really sure if y'all can see what's going on, but I hope so. At least to get a glimpse. So I take my socket, put it in here, go up to the oil drain plug I show you. Righty loosey, lefty tidy. Quick it loose. In this case, this one wasn't very tight, so it came up with less force. Got my little drain pan. So I can catch the oil and not make a mess in your driveway. Just unscrew it by hand until it comes all the way out. There you have it. Got the oil air coming out. I'm going to see if I can get that one by hand first before I use the claw. So here we have it folks, we got the dirty oil draining out the car right now. And we're gonna go to the filter. I'm gonna try by hand. Be careful, don't wanna do your oil change while it's hot because these exhausts be hot. Your converter over there is very hot. So in this case, I got lucky. It's not very tight on this car. Look at it. When I try it with the claw, it just broke loose right away. It's not very tight, so it's gonna come out with no problem. Be careful, I don't wanna burn myself, so I'm gonna take my time. You can just use a shop towel or paper towel or whatever you have. Just wipe the excess oil from the engine. Otherwise, you're just gonna smell oil for a while until it burn off but no harm to the car. So, 
In this case, we are lucky. It's coming out. Since I got no one to really hold my camera, I'm surprised we got a nice view. You know, without me blocking it, and this filter is coming out with no problem. Once the filter come out, just, just try to slowly get it out of there if you can to catch as much oil as possible so you don't have to make a big mess like I did. And uh, you double check to make sure there's no they left the oil gasket from the car. When I say oil gasket, I mean this black ring on this filter. You see this black ring? Sometimes it gets stuck to the car and doesn't come up with it. So you just got to peel it off with your hand. It come up easy. As you can see, I did a nice little wipe down. It still got a little bit of oil, but you can clean it up some more. When I check, I don't have the oil gasket on that ring up there. Here's my new filter. The white filter, since we took out a blue one, I'm gonna just loop in a little bit of oil, just a little bit so I can loop the ring. That's all, the black ring, I'm just putting grease on it. Then I'm gonna go back up there. And you have to play with it. So it's the trick to these is to tilt it down, downwards, to it catch. So, Sometimes don't get frustrated if you feel like your filter not going on. It doesn't mean the filter don't fit. It just means you have you have to angle it till you get that little lift on it. In which case we got lucky with no too much fuss. We got it. I got the car up a little too high. You can also get this from the top if your arms are long. You don't really have to have no arm though, but you can also screw your filter on from the top. Take it off and put it back on from the top. It don't need to be super tight. Whoever had this car did it well. They didn't screw it on super tight, so I ain't had to struggle to get it out. And I'm gonna return the favor. I'm not gonna make it too tight either. It don't need to be like super tight. We look over here. The oil is done draining out the car. So I'm gonna just get my book. Go right back where it came from. And then screw in. Snug. Get your little ratchet. Boom. And screw it back on. Since I have no cameraman, I had to put the foam down so I can screw the boat back on and I tighten it. It don't need to be super tight. It just need to be tight, you know, snug enough that you don't see no leak around it. And that's all. Okay, if you make it super tight, sometimes you go crack the span and you have bigger problems. So there you have it, folks. The oil change is done. All we gotta do is lower the car, put some oil in it, check it to make sure the oil is enough on the line. Start your car for three seconds, turn it back off, go back, double check your oil twice to make sure it's at the full line. Sometimes the oil goes low because of the filter, so you can just top it off or you can leave it. But just remember, you have a little less oil in your car. And the oil change is done. Leave a comment on which vehicle you want me to do next. If I come across it, I will be sure to do it for you.